we have some really great news for Boosteroid. So there has been a new application that has been released for macOS native M1 slash M2 rather than the Intel version. This means it should increase the efficiency of the application and less resources from having to translate from Rosetta instruction set because it uses the Rosetta to translate from the Intel architecture instruction set to the Apple version. So you want to go ahead and download this. What you don't want to do is have it automatically update, update because it will it will auto automatically default to the Intel version. So you want to go directly to the website. I, I'll leave a link in the description. Go to the website, click on M Mac OS, click on the Mac OS M1 slash M2 version. And then once that's downloaded, it will be in your downloads. You want to double click that and then drag it into your applications. Click on replace. So that's done. It will be there in your launch pad and then click on Boosteroid, click on open. And we can we can verify that it's using the Apple version if we go into our activity monitor. Yay! So there we see this is now no longer using Intel ap application, it's using the Apple version. And I think this might also affect the battery life as well. It might help with the battery life to be a bit better because it means that there is no on the fly translation being done. And it might help a bit with performance even as well. Uh, let's see if there's any other settings I need to be aware of. Doesn't seem like uh, there's anything that I need to be aware of, but here is the update. We are proudly announcing the macOS M1 M2 desktop client. Please welcome. And these are various fixes. They have fixed a bug due to which a crash could occur when changing the resolution in the stream. A bug due to which the rendering of the stream sometimes did not start. A bug due to which the client could switch to windowed mode in a session. I think this would be good if we had this as a feature, like if they gave you the option to run in windowed mode. That would be really amazing. Because it would mean sometimes you know you're using a 4k monitor and just to get that one-to-one -one scaling if you could run in a in a perfect 1080p window that would mean there's no scaling involved the image quality sometimes looks better when it's like that so windowed mode would be a great feature to have uh, improved user interface to enable disable microphone and speaker during a session some minor ui improvements use a notification before starting to search for a free server in remote data centers if all servers in the nearest data centers are busy. Now, one thing I will say about this, it would be great if Booster had something a bit like GeForce Now where you can select your server. Sometimes you want the lowest latency possible and you would be willing to wait a few minutes for that. So it, Booster could either give you the option, it could give you two options. Either you can have the immediate access to your game, immediately jump into a session, no wait times, but then it will give you any server that is available or alternatively, you could select to have the nearest uh, the nearest server to you and you're happy to wait a few minutes. It could give you that option, like you could, or even you could just choose the servers yourself manually and then you'd need to wait a few minutes to get the access to the session. Some people would be, would be okay with that if they want to play competitive games then obviously you want the lowest possible latency and you might be willing to wait for that. Uh, but yeah, that's not really related to this uh, update. But yeah, I'm just throwing that out there as a suggestion. But this is amazing that we're getting this update for M1, M2. As an Apple user, obviously it's very, very fantastic for any Apple user like myself. If you are on a Mac, there's never been a better time to jump aboard, jump aboard on the Boosteroid uh, hype train because this is so fantastic. We're going to go ahead and start an Overwatch 2 session right now and yeah I think this will have a perform not only the performance impact from not having to translate I think it might even save on the memory impact as well the memory footprint of the application and yeah so you see my latency right now it's a little bit above the recommended one which is 20 so I think it would be great if Boosteroid gave us the option to maybe uh, just just wait for 
access to the newest possible data center, if that's possible. But it's not, not a massive deal, but that'd be pretty cool to have. We're just going to go into the game and there's been an update to Overwatch 2 so I really wanted to check it out. There's a new Doomfist skin that we will have, we will take a look at. So you can see my server is, it's not my local server, it's connecting to BRO, might be Brussels, Brussels 0. Okay. So this is the Doomfist skin. Looks pretty cool. I like it. It's uh, quite simplistic skin. And in order to get it, you have to complete a couple of games. There's also a new Mercy skin. Lifeguard Mercy. Looks fairly good. I like it. And also, the best part, there's a new tank bundle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Diva in purple looks amazing. Wow, look at that. Well, I mean, it is kind of her default. She has a default pink color, but this just really stands out. So I'm not going to hesitate with this one. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, just going to go ahead and purchase well worth it for 262 of my Overwatch League hard earned tokens although not really hard earned because I just AFK in the stream and that's how I got it so now I have quite a few of, uh, of the gladiators I'm intending to collect them all eventually so we are going to go into we're going to go into the highlight, the uh, gallery, hero gallery. Let's have a look how it compares. So this is her default skin, right? So it's a very much more solid color of purple. This is more pink and this is much more purple. I like it. So we're going to, head, going to go ahead and equip that. Same for Zarya. I have a pink one equipped. And then, oh, let's have a look at the away skin. That's not bad, okay. And then finally, we have the Junker Queen. This looks really great, I like it. Okay, so that's all done. I now have all of my mains have gladiator skins equipped, which is pretty, pretty funny because it really stands out in the game. And something I, I came across recently, something very useful actually, is a new website that has specifically Overwatch replays and this is great, we can check out the new skins and stuff, right? We can check out Lifeguard Mercy and see how it looks in an actual game. Let's have a look at the new Queen Street game. So yeah, this is now using Apple. It's using 15% of my CPU, which I think it was actually higher before. Um, but I'm gonna do something in depth testing with both of them. I might install both of the versions of Boosteroid just to see. ZSRHZ8. So this was this is the new Mercy skin that we're gonna have a look. Going to disable this stuff. So the replays website is, is fantastic because it means Wow. Yeah, it looks really really good in the game. Quite simple. 
but good, good skin. Well, they both have they both have the skin equipped. <laughs> this is a very very popular skin. People are saying no one no one will want to buy these expensive skins, but that's clearly not true. Lots of people are buying these skins. Looks amazing, but I don't have enough credits to get this. I could use my Microsoft balance, but. I have enough coins on one of my accounts to buy the skin, but I don't really want to buy it as a someone who doesn't really play Mercy all that much. She's not really my main. I do play her actually from time to time, but not as much as I play Reinhardt, so just saving most of my coins for Reinhardt. But so far I haven't noticed any performance problems, which is fantastic. There's no stuttering and stuff. This is the NVIDIA grid. And it's using ultra settings. Put the sharpening up a bit. Let's just go ahead and put it all the way to epic. Because why not, right? So that's absolutely the highest possible. This is one of the benefits of cloud gaming, is that you can run games at very high settings, even without having to rely on having good hardware. Most of the time I just leave on medium, because I don't really need high settings. Um, it doesn't really make much of a difference to the gameplay, it's just sometimes it is nice to really see the game at maximum fidelity. It really feels next generation. Feels extremely next gen experience. So, one thing I want to figure out how to do with my YouTube videos is how to increase the volume of my recording. Because a lot of the time, I don't understand why, but it doesn't record at a very high volume. It's like I'm lower volume than. Than other things like music and stuff. But yeah, this is a great step forward for Destroyed. Another step forward. It just keeps improving and improving. It's so amazing. And this is why cloud gaming is taking over big time. And really, you don't need to be locked into a Windows system anymore. You can have a Mac and really enjoy the experience and have it not just any old application on the Mac but a very optimized application so it's not running your resources down, not running your battery life down as much which is really great and it even gives you the choice to run the Intel application if you, if you for whatever reason still wanted to do that you can let's look at lifeguard mercy on this one Let's uh, go back to desktop so we can apply the, the new graphics settings. So I can show you again in the task activity monitor, it's Apple, right? It's not Intel anymore, which is really great. I like this uh, old Overwatch 1 music.
very nostalgic music. FNE24N. FNE24N. Let's take a look. I also wanted to see how the new Junker Queen skin looks. So I might check that out. Okay. Wow. I like the staff as well. It does take up quite a bit of space on the screen though. So that's something I don't like is when weapon models take up a lot of space. So I wouldn't say it's the best skin, Messi's best skin. I think that would still be Winged Victory or Soul Dynasty Overwatch League skin. And this is a Royal Knight skin. This isn't bad either. I like this one. I think the Royal Knight is better actually. So let's have a look. Reinhardt. They have Reinhardt on the team. It's always fun to watch Reinhardt play. Why is this Mercy? Just AFK. Come on. Oh, let's put our. Let's show our graphics settings. So we are on the epic high settings. I'm gonna put the details enabled. So here we are, the lifeguard skin. Looks pretty great. Let me turn V-Sync on. So it's really great to see Boost Roy just keeps getting better and better and the developers are clearly very talented who work 